I said be careful. I don't want you to get into debt. Abonga e chora kenzo bo choite kere koni speedy lo mama ngakore ya lo stado mo na pesi nin. And don't be corrupt. Don't get bribes from. Asod bonga limoni yezo choti bobo mami chamu ne chamu sana mami lo sa kero no anya anya mikapun. So today, when I was, she was taking me around, I interrogated her. Lolo ne eri eri morongo ne eri morongo se ngadeke zo somero abunga ngeti ngeti ngesi. Because I had I had even forgotten what, what we had talked before. Nare murokite muro muro ite la polon no ada utosa imoro keda utos speaker. As she was taking me around, I I talked to her. I said, Where did you get the money to do this? Asoda ngai ngeti ngesi. I bidu mnaji kapulu isama na jiboro lukere. Then he said, You old man, have you forgotten that you helped me? With the school. I said how much? She mentioned the figure. But when I was interacting with her those those times. I told her I don't want you to, to get debt. Because a leader with the debts cannot think properly. You don't sleep. How can you think properly if you don't sleep? So I told her, I don't want you to be in debt. Because I could see that she was very ambitious in doing things. Wants to do this, wants to do that, wants to do that. Thinking too much uh, a lot about her people, how to help them, how to help them. And this among comes in as a priest. I I was calling I bishop. You are actually bishop, oh, okay, sir. Bishop now. Yeah, yeah. Because for us, we are the priests with the junior one. Olomu do kwa na nita mongo rai do kwa na bishop. Papa president re actually bishop o kujagi na. Are you not a pope? And, and uh, this young lady was uh, initially in opposition. Ape se na ako kusina seki aji oriyonge teje le tepe kita pugan. But but when I came here. In the election of 2016, I think. I saw two young ladies in the front row putting on yellow. I think she was with another friend of hers. Later on, they attended my writing. Then uh, later on, I came to find out that the, the, she was still in opposition that time. And but, but when the elections were over, the, we were going to elect speaker, was it? There was something there. Then I, I, I had my the, the girl I had seen in Bukede here was active on the supporting some other character there of position. So I knew you were going to be there. Na jai na anyo tonga Bukede ya akokusido kwa na asuri ba le gani te chelo o angina na se one speaker is gani te chelo loma mbala asuri ba la chai jok. I think the battle then was the deputy speaker. Deputy Speaker of Tino Lanya, Kadaga was elected. Adaota Seuna, Polon, Dodarakwana, Deputy Speaker, Atupitona Speaker. It was Olanya now versus Seleko, was. Yes, versus Seleko. Araja Kaiti, Olanya, Kedona Chekosi, Seleko, Lolo, Gokiti Kampala, Konya, Minangasa, Belbelo Taita. So I rang, I said, This is the girl I saw in Bukede, yeah? I said, what are you doing with this circle? I said, what are you doing with this circle? Then she said, I can't change now. Because if I change now, even you, you will not trust me. 
e bala be mamdo bo kwa nanga pedo ribera ibe looking na reko pana inye kengolo arda bere jo la polon mamji chapaki buna muno kine ngo bi bel bel aber apesena so we agree that she continues within sereko nyes do acha manar bo lo ja bo bri okede ngo pongo na da mamo ne cha yero epo waike and i i defeat her e telekare ngo jo alimo indo la polon alimo ina neta and then we start afresh do ko inta da nga telekare so do na ge uno kener so we went in uh, some hall below parliament below parliamentary building president's office there is a hall there eria marosido kwapung ne jai o parliamenting now kwapne office of president e jai ne ria muno se tunga ne pe lala no pranga re tunga lala bala kwa na tetent lo kwae so i, I defeated her there i tele card de ngonge sikede ketwa ni je and then we drove together to entebbe aseta anyu yangar de ngonge sa upain kede ngen tebe and she came with ishagi opuna sikede ishagi and some other person kerebo bechie that's how we started working together agarete da so amune pepe and when she came konyebu na lomna nete na lomna she's very very active very very hard working e right one ene benena kwa na noi e papa isamu chata na aka ni noi she she brought me men of the opposition people abu a opeda isupu ni luete pekito sa pugan lue puno yo bo ya optoma alom ne na rem to join the movement oya uno pate lo na rem i'm sure even here in bukede there must be some cases e mo meeting is ban ne pene da obu opeda ya uno chelo aja so king ane pata alom no pate then i said my young friend age unda alimon ge so ba akoka For Apa peroka na didina For me my politics is is a wealth creation Aka e kai ngaren kine e rai la kote anyu be enyu netitu ngo bakor You come and visit me and you see what I do Akoto ngo jabu ne ranyu ni e ngo lai jo reka tete janyu ni so maengo That's how she came to write to land kisozi Olomu ni donge sabu ne rai pejo kine ngo rwa kitora ke dabu ne rebo reka do pelo kisozi I have invited many people e oro na ngetu alu epungi na they come see go and keep quiet e poti chengi na anyama anyama konye mebongo tai so mauni bore but when she came konye na na bunyo she saw what i was doing obu anyu no so maengo in chiruhura area okay ruhura ngina and rightura kede rightura rightura i remember he came with the man of the hotels ngina opotopotu kede ja kaite dope lo onacha riong lo ocean wells Aryong Aryong the man of hotel She saw my huge hands at Kisosi Obuanya ka kitukunu ipunoi alaije okisosi And she said you give me some cows Abu arasa ka nyite ngobo na ke ngoda chie I give her some cows I don't know how many 50 or what I don't remember Yes nga ina in ballet at the patrosa ka isa kanyira Eh Abu Abu la poloni oena ki a speaker ai tuka kwa tare How many? I took a 200 200 you gave oh, 200 I gave her cows uh, Muzay many people are going to start visiting you <laughs> the, the when I came last time last time here she she had so many cows here here in this Ndone ngwa chabuni ongo ne amutur nene ichokyo ako kuza dum na ngai tukunu ipuno yangina So I hear she's a very rich woman she's now an abaran that's what I hear Kwana keda keituko erai kwana abaran with many cows E ala mano keda erai kwana abaran keda ituko no ipuno e And the land was just there doing nothing Arai sekalu poku no boeta ngina tai o mame aso mane so mane ya uni kapun Then she kept inviting me that's how I came to the school Aso bu bo be yata kai woro no ngao ne to nda bu nyongo ne ngesa bu nyanga anyu na kero no esomero Today I found she had built the whole place the school place the hospital the school the school of nursing Alo lola duma ngarie ngunoy adomba duko ya ibosting ni kera duko resomero aduko radekis aduko tonine twening ara nasin it's a small town era e kwana ibosti town e town ndidi e alama noy bapa esversa mpia kana no ngunoy but when i was interacting with her those those times konye bere sekne outa ene na rango kede ngesi i told her i don't want you to to get debts abonga limo ke manga koto jo alomarai ai baj ai jawnu na adomu na pesenin 
because a leader with debts cannot think properly abunga limo ke engare non lo e poa personin ma me pra o mo mo do cho me pra o mo me jok you don't sleep how can you think properly if you don't sleep ijo it one card ko pa no na ne engare no ko le le ba personin ma me joto e te rai kwenya ne do ba kwenyo ro e wa reda so i told her i don't want you to be in debt because I could see that she was very ambitious in doing things. Wants to do this, wants to do that, wants to do that. Thinking too much uh, a lot about her people, how to help them, how to help them. I said be careful. I don't want you to get into debt. Abonga e chora kens bo choite ke de koni speed lo. Mama ngako ya lo stado mo na pesenin. And don't be corrupt. Don't get bribes from. I said bonga limon yo so choti bobo mami chamu ne chamu sana mami lo sa kero no anya anya mi kapun. So today when I was, she was taking me around I interrogated her. Lo lo ne siri morong o ne siri morong se nga deke so so mero abonga ngetingi tingesi. Because I had, I had even forgotten what we had talked to before. As she was taking me around, I, I talked to her. I said, where did you get the money to do this? Then he said, you old man, have you forgotten that you helped me? With the school. I said, how much? She mentioned the figure. Then she said, Once I built the school, the school started admitting children and the children are paying school fees. So the school fees from the children is the one I used to build the hospital. Akepolo be isirigini dongu lwa dumu nenga nejes edwe lwe somero ngesa duke yonga dekis. Now you can see this is an innovative imaginative young person. E rai churi tuwa nene jaskeda adama ya na iswama kero no apolo. Using the very innovative ways of solving problems. In our hospital, the women are attended free. I think the pregnant women. No, 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 but the men are charged. Very clever girl. You, you charge the, these, these men who are doing nothing. Because the men are charged. And they subsidize these fat men who come with big stomach. You charge them. No, 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 and then use the money, use the money to, to help to look after the women free. And the the school children are paying the, the nursing school. So you can see that this is a debt free operation. So I really want to congratulate her for that imagination.